Hello YouTube, Enderman986 here, and today I'm going to teach you how to take off in Flight Gear's Boeing 777. A little disclaimer before we start, this is not a pilot's exact protocols for taking off a Boeing 777. This is actually just my guide to how to take off from the ground. So everything that you see here is not exactly what a pilot would do, but if you follow my instructions, you'll get off the ground and you'll be able to fly around. Alright, so here we are in the cockpit of the 777. And the first thing you want to do when you get in here is turn on the engines. There are two ways of doing this. You can either press the shortcut key, which I believe is S on the keyboard, or you can do it the real way. I'm going to do it the real way. So what you want to do is right click twice so you have this nice, uh, nice um, navigating thing here, and navigate up to the top. That is where you'll see all of the engine controls and the power controls. So right here, where you see my mouse, is the battery. You want to click that on. All of the controls will light up, and you'll hear a beeping sound. That tells you that the uh, that the battery is on. The plane is now being powered by the battery. You don't want it always to be powered by the battery, because the battery runs out, just like a car battery. So the second thing you do is you want to turn on the APU. That is the main source of power for the plane. So click this knob right here to the start position that's clicking it twice. It'll move back automatically to the on position showing that the APU is turning on and it actually takes a few seconds to turn on. You can tell if it's on or not by this little screen right here. A little word right here will pop up below this one right here and it'll tell you that the APU is on. It'll do that in a second. <clears throat> there you go. Now if I were to zoom in close enough it would say APU running. So now that the APU is on, you want to turn the engines on. These are the little engine controller uh, diagrams. It tells you if the engine is on. Right now you see them all in the off position. They're not running at any power. So navigate down right over here and you'll see these two little knobs. These are like the primers for the engine or something. I'm not exactly sure what they are, but I know you have to click them up. One's for the left engine and one's for the right engine navigate back up to the power control stuff and over here if I were to zoom in enough it's like the engine igniter things so this time you have to use the middle mouse button to click on this one and click on this one one for the left engine one for the right engine and you're clicking them to the start position if you have your sound loud enough you'll be able to hear the engine start to start to turn on and over here you see that the engines are starting to uh, starting to show that they're on. The second thing you want to do while the engines are turning on, it's also one of the protocols for, for flying, you have to increase the flaps. To do that, navigate down over here, this is the throttle right here, and this is the flaps. You want to increase that three times. The flaps will start to increase so you can take off. Once the engine is running fully and the flaps are good, I will increase the throttle and release the parking brake and then we can take off. But we have to wait for the flaps to, uh, to do their thing. Okay, the flaps have stopped, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the throttle a little bit. I'm actually going to use page up because it's a lot easier. Um, so I press page up and I hold it and it increase the, uh, increases the throttle. Over here where the engine diagrams are, you can see the engines start to move because you uh, you increase the throttle. So to get going you want to remove the parking brake. That's this thing right here. You click it and then move back to the the window. You'll see your plane actually start to go forward a little bit. I'm gonna increase my throttle to 75 percent and you can see by the uh, by the engine diagram how far you've increased your throttle the plane will start to uh, to rapidly uh, rapidly accelerate and once you're fast enough you'll be able to take off and you do that by pulling down on the uh, on the throttle or on the um, what's it called the yoke I guess that's the um, that's this thing on the bottom of the screen so I'm actually using the rudders which for the keyboard is enter and zero to make sure that the plane stays on the runway. Once the plane is going fast enough, you'll be able to pull up and take off.
so it's veering off the runway. Okay, I cut it to the last second, but it worked regardless. So the first thing you want to do so that your plane doesn't yell at you is decrease the flaps. Make sure your plane is going steady though, so you, so you don't crash while you look over at the flaps. And then look over here and decrease the flaps all the way. See the plane is yelling at me because I didn't do it soon enough. Okay, so now you're flying the plane. You also want to make sure that you decrease the land or you lower the landing gear so it doesn't fall off. This little button right here does that. So my landing gear is now decreasing. The plane is still yelling at me. I'm gonna dismiss the uh, I'm gonna dismiss the warning by clicking this. Okay, so now I'm flying the plane. Um, this is pretty much all you do to fly the plane. You can mess around with autopilot if you want. You can uh, you can set waypoints. I can show you how to do that in a later video if if, if you guys like this video. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Fly around. You can do like evasive maneuvers and stuff. I don't know. In a Boeing 777, not very much evasive maneuvers you can do. Um, but yeah, landing is a pain. So get used to flying, and then you can learn how to land. Uh, I've flown probably 50 times, and I've landed once successfully. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, comment on the video, like it, subscribe if you want, and see you later.